Magandang hapon, mangkaibigan. Mang Ako si Mark. Uh, kamusta ka na? Mabuti? Fantastico. Anyways, that was a, my cheap invitation of a Filipino introduction. And I just said in Tagalog, good afternoon, how is everybody? More or less. Anyways, uh, it is Monday, August 5th. 2013 at 5.07 in the PFM. I uh, had a really, really terrific day today. We went out, so we actually went to Hoboken. And as you can see, my son Mark Brandon was very, very happy about that. And my wife, Lynn, was very happy about that too. We had a great time. We hung out by the boardwalk, um, which is over on Frank Sinatra Way or Frank Sinatra Drive. Some of Frank Sinatra. It's Frank Sinatra, of course. It's from Hoboken. Uh, we had a great time. And... Uh, you know, uh, I got first of all, I got to tell everybody that I got a really great response from the last video that I posted up, and I'm really glad that everybody liked that. Um, and I actually got in touch with, I heard some people I haven't heard from in years, and had a really great conversation with a friend of mine who I haven't spoken to in over 20 years, my friend John, and we were very, very informative about a lot of things, and um, it was just, it was really, really wonderful. So, uh, I'm sure, John, if you see this, thank you very much. Thumbs up there. Uh... I wanted to talk about a really, uh, very, uh, the most important thing, I think, or one of the most important things, anyways, to have a really great attitude and a great, uh, uh, to be happy about things, you know, even if things are going really terrible and things really suck, just be happy about it, you know, because it could be worse, and remember, and this is true, it's all how you perceive it, and according to my doctor, my guru, the, the person that has really saved me and introduced me to this lifestyle that I'm living right now, Dr. Nene Chung, who is my chiropractor, my nutritionist, my guru, for God's sakes. Uh, and it was her that told me, because I told her that they told me I would be in a wheelchair at 25. And she said, if you think you'll be in a wheelchair at 25, then that's exactly where you're going to be. So don't think it. And she smacked me in the back of the head, which is over here, that back of the head. Uh, and uh, she didn't hurt me. But, uh, you know, which was, which again, was the best thing that ever happened to me, because I'm not in a wheelchair, thank God. And I'm, and I'm 44, you know, and I know you're thinking, are you really 44? You don't look it. Oh, you look like you're maybe 22 or 23, maybe, or something like that. And uh, free of my cheap Irish accent. But because my son got one of those little Irish caps on, we have to speak in an Irish accent, you know. And so I'll be talking to him like this. And I'll be like, oh, Tatty, let's, let's go to the pub. Let's go to the pub and have a point or two. <laughs> of course, we joke like that. I would never, ever, ever take him to the bar. I don't even drink myself. Um, besides coffee and tea and water. Um, once in a while, a Snapple. But that's once in a great blue moon. I, remember, I don't even think I had a Snapple at all this year. So, Because Snapple's sugar. And I try to avoid sugar. I know it's really hard to avoid sugar because there's sugar in everything. But I do the best I can, you know, um, and um, that's a whole other story. Uh, there was just uh, a lot of a uh, lot of great, wonderful things, and um, that I've I've learned. But anyways, I'll give you more information about that next time we speak, because like I say, we just got back from our uh, whirlwind, exciting adventure day here in Hoboken. So we're back here in we're back home. So manaming salamat. Maraming salamat po, mga kaibigan. And uh, sige, have a great evening, and uh, I'll talk to you later.